good everybody, Tim here from Monty's Reef. Thought I'd just bring you a quick little video on probably the simplest product in our product line and that is uh, the Easy Plugs. So I'm sure you all know what a frag plug is, but for anyone who doesn't, it's essentially a little plug which allows you to take a little cutting of a coral or a frag, um, stick it on top and it allows it to be easily transported, um, sold or stored and racked up in something like a frag rack that you can keep in your aquarium. So the use of frag plugs has become pretty much an unconscious standard now. The shape and design of a frag plug hasn't changed for a long time. There are some variations like frag tiles or frag domes or things like that. But if you were to say the word frag plug, I'm sure this kind of shape is what's going to come to mind. You've got the stem on the bottom and the, the, the plate or base uh, on the top. Now what you would do with a more traditional frag plug is when you're ready to glue that down to your rock work or remove the frag, you would take some bone cutters and you would cut the stem off your frag plug uh, and that would leave you with a nice flat base, maybe something that looks a little bit more like this that you could then glue down to your rock work. Now what I've done with easy plugs, basically because I hate these bone cutters, I hate cutting the stems off frag plugs because every time you do it I end up the frag pings across the room. These things rusty, probably my fault because I never dry them properly after I use them, but I don't really like now using these uh, if ever I don't have to on the reef tank just because rust can be bad for your, for your tank. So that's definitely something you want to be careful with, avoid um, any rust. I should probably get a new pair of these and throw these in the bin because these are, these are rubbish now. But yeah, what I've done with easy plugs is uh, make it a lot easier rather than cutting the, uh, the stem off the, the base of the plug, so you simply can just twist, um, easy removal. So let's just say I've done a frag swap with a friend and he's given me a frag that uses an easy plug opposed to a traditional plug. I could have that racked up for a while, you know, keep it in my frag rack, uh, make sure that it's doing okay, make sure that it's uh, healthy, happy, and then when it came time to uh, drop that into, or glue that onto my rock work, I should say, um, take it out of the frag rack, uh, nice and easy instead of cutting, just simple twist and then you have a nice flat base there to glue down to your rock work. Now the threads in the bottom of your uh, frag plug, when you're gluing that down to your rock work, you can get your glue up all up in there, all around the edge and you can get a nice solid fixing uh, onto your rock work. Now if you did want to swap this logo out for your logo, you could drop me a message on Instagram um, or on the contact us page of uh, the website and I can, uh, I can have a look at doing that. There will be a small fee involved, obviously this CAD work and redesign work. Uh, involved in that. So in terms of dimensions of the plug, they're really, really standard frag plug dimensions, middle of the road. They're going to fit, you know, 99.9% .9 of racks and things that are currently available on the market. They come in a variety of colors. Obviously, I'm holding the purple one here, but we've also got a sort of a neon orange one. We've got a white one. Uh, we've got a black one. And then I don't currently have in front of me, but we also have a green one. We do have a green frag rack though, so you can see, you know, the, the full color range we've got. Easy plugs are a 3D printed frag plug, which does mean they're made from plastic. It is a 100% reef safe plastic. It's completely stable. It's not gonna degrade over time. Nothing funky is gonna go on with it. And if you leave them long enough, they should grow uh, coralline algae the same way that sort of a normal frag plug would. It's not gonna have any effect whatsoever on how your frag grows or develop. It's gonna grow exactly the same on a plastic frag plug as it would on sort of a more traditional frag plug that we're all used to. One of the benefits of using easy plugs opposed to using a more traditional frag plug is every time you sort of normally glue a frag to the rock work, you cut the stem off and you throw it in the bin and that becomes a waste product. With the easy plug, you can just unscrew the, uh, unscrew the stem from the base and you can keep that and save that. And then when the time comes that you need some more frag plugs, all you need to do is reorder the bases. That'll also save you a bit of money, but the, most importantly, there's no waste product, so you're not throwing anything away in the bin. So yeah, guys, that's easy plugs. Not a lot to it, really. It is essentially just a frag plug, the frag plug that we all know and love and works. It just makes it a little bit easier. Instead of cutting, you're twisting, and it's, it's that simple. Who doesn't want to simplify things? Take bone cutters out of the equation, just make it a little bit easier. Um, so if you are interested in frag plugs, you can get them over at montesbrief.com. Um, you are also on eBay, we're looking at going on Etsy and a few other um, sites very soon. But if you follow me on Instagram at Monty's underscore Reef, you'll be up to date with everything that's going on. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching, thank you for your time. I hope you have a great rest of your day, whatever you might be doing. Um, and I'll catch you all in the next video.